Hello and welcome. I have a great Dollar Tree haul for you today. Now this haul is rather large. I have several new items from Valentine's Day, Easter, and several other items I picked up throughout the store. So let's go ahead and jump in. I have so many wonderful items to share with you today. I did pick up a couple packages of their tissue paper for Valentine's Day. They have some really beautiful patterns. I really like this one. I love all those hearts. This one's also really nice. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. And then I really liked this one as well with the red heart and the arrows. I have a Mod Podge project coming up that I needed some Valentine's Day tissue paper for. I picked up one package of each of the ones they had, so I had choices when I go to make my project. I did pick up a few signs on this trip. This was one of them. Uh, it's heavily glittered and it is plastic. But I like that it says Happy Valentine's Day and I even like the addition of the two hearts there on the bottom. Now Dollar Tree had two new signs like this that had a mason jar. I only picked up one, this one, I really liked it, filled with love, happy Valentine's Day. Now this does have a lifted frame that is around it, and the happy Valentine's Day is also a three-dimensional element. Now the other one that they had, had a mason jar in the front as well, and it was filled up with hearts. I don't remember what the saying was, but you have two to choose from. I really like this one, I thought it was very pretty. And I also picked up this long sign. I really like the way they did love. I love all the flowers and a little bit of glitter, not too much. But I think they did a really beautiful job on this one. So I did pick it up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a wreath out of it or just hang it on my wall, but I really like it. I think it's very pretty. I also picked up one of these. It is a hanging heart chandelier. And I really liked all the different patterns and the different shapes of hearts. If you didn't want to use it as a hanging chandelier, you could probably take it apart and use each of the individual hearts, maybe in a paper project. But I thought that was really cute, something different that I haven't seen at Dollar Tree before. Now this I actually picked up over where the wall decals are, but I really liked it. It's a puffy heart. And I love all the florals on that. I thought this would be a fun project for Valentine's Day. Now this little candle holder was something new. I have not seen this in the past. And they had love and happiness were the two sayings that I found on the ones that were in my store. But I thought that was really pretty. You could put a nice red tea light in there. That would be pretty to decorate a little sweetheart table or something like that. So I thought that was interesting. Dollar Tree did get in their heart picks again this year and they come in several different colors. I have pretty much all the other colors but I used all of the white ones that I had so I grabbed two more stems. I like these. I usually pull the hearts off and use them on my wreaths. I did find a couple more of these hearts. I really do like them. I think they're so pretty and rustic. I was happy that I found a white one. And then I did pick up one more in the neutral. And these are actually out of the Birch and Vine collection and they're just calling it decor. Dollar Tree put out several of their Valentine's Day kitchen items. I just picked up a couple of the flower sack towels and I really liked this pattern. I think it's very pretty. I like to put these out more as a decor piece in my kitchen. Uh, once the season or holiday is over, I do use them. And I do prefer the flower sacks for actually using in the kitchen. The microfibers don't really uh, wipe up water or anything. So I prefer these. So I did just pick up two. I really like that one. And then this one says, I'm on my way to steal your heart. I really liked that saying. 
but I think these are absolutely adorable and I just love that traditional red and white prints. Now these were a nice new find this year. Now they have the regular beaded hearts last year that were just the plain wood beads, but this year they have colored and I really like that. So I did grab two of these. I thought, you know, they might be fun to use together, but we'll see what I come up with. Now Dollar Tree got back in their wooden picks, but these are much larger than the ones they had last year. The ones that they had last year were probably half the size. You do get 20 pieces. They come in gold, red, and this really pretty light pink. But I used these a lot last year. I just pulled the little hearts off and used them in several projects. So actually I was kind of happy that they're a little bit larger this year because I still have some left over from last year. So nice find, they come in handy for crafting. I thought this was cute. It's a little weighted, uh, they're calling it a potted rose. But it's just something that um, if you wanted to weight down maybe some balloons or something like that on your table. But I thought that was so cute that they did a little bear with those cute little roses. So I thought he might be fun to maybe uh, take apart and use him on a wreath or something, maybe just a small wreath. But I thought he was super cute. First time I've seen something like that. Dollar Tree did get in their little Valentine's Day gnomes again, and these are actually a little bit larger than the ones that they had last year. And uh, they also had several different ones. This is a little girl. I thought she was the cutest out of the ones they had for this year. So I did pick just her. And I really like the way they did her hat, even the embellishment there with the extra hearts. And she has her little ponytails going on but I like her, I think she's adorable. Now this was a fun item that I found, a year of date nights, 52 date ideas. On the top it says 52 fun things to do on date night. Let's open that up, check that out. Let's see if I can get them out. Oh, okay, so we have beach day, live music, go on a picnic, pick fruit, play a board game, see the symphony, spa day, paint your own pottery. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So they have 52 cards that give you different ideas on what to do for a date night. I think that's a really good idea. Of course, you can always write down your own ideas and put them in there as well. But this might be a fun thing to do kind of as a challenge for the year with your partner. Let's go on a date night every week and choose something out of here to do. I think that would be really fun make you try some things maybe you hadn't thought of doing together. I picked up a box of these and they are marshmallow hearts, but I really like the way that they're decorated. I thought they would look really cute more as for decorations. I'm not really a marshmallow kind of person. I don't really care for them too much, but I thought they were absolutely adorable and might make some good photo ops for Valentine's Day. Now these were also something new that I found this year and they are um, plastic candies that you can open up and fill. They did come in two different colors. So we have the red and then they also have pink and you do get five pieces. Let me open this up and let's take a closer look. So this is what they look like. I think they're absolutely adorable and they do come apart. So you have the two pieces. So you can put some candy, maybe put some confetti, maybe put uh, little love notes in there and then you seal them back up. I think that's really adorable. 
When I saw these, I was thinking more of a Christmas project than a Valentine's Day project because you could make absolutely adorable ornaments with these. So I did pick up two packages of the pink and two packages of the red. I'm going to set one package of each aside for next Christmas because these will make adorable little ornaments and they'll be really easy. Just fill them up. You can paint them. All kinds of things you can do with these guys. So I was so happy I saw these online and I was hoping that I would be able to find them in my stores and I did. Great new item for Valentine's 2024. Now I did find two new metal signs they're not that large, but they are very nicely done. That's nice and thick. The edges are not sharp. They did a really beautiful job. Now, I love it when they come out with the metal signs, especially if you're looking to make a wreath that you're going to be putting outside. And this is nice, too, because it does have holes in it, making it much easier for you to attach it to your wreath. So I did find two different ones this year. I think this is so adorable. That red truck filled with the red and pink hearts. And if you love gnomes, you're going to love this one. Look at how cute he is driving the truck that says welcome. And it is also loaded with some beautiful hearts in the back. So you have a red truck or a pink truck to choose from this year. And they are both done very well. Nicely constructed. I picked up one more ribbon and this is the smaller 5 eighths of an inch at 12 feet and this one says love and some hearts with a really pretty white background. I liked that. I thought this was fun just to pick a pair up. They do come in a couple different colors. Heart shaped glasses and you know I love that pink. I thought these would be just fun to wear maybe for the day. Now this was something brand new that I have not seen before. It is a door banner. And this one has all the conversational hearts on it. It is 59 inches by 11 inches. Let me open this up so we can get a better look. Oh, that's really cute. That is a decent material that feels like it will hold up outside. And it is nice and long. Let's see. Okay, so it has a banner style hanger at the top. But then here at the bottom, it also has two grommets so that you can tie down the bottom to make sure that it doesn't flap around. Now, I don't know if I would actually put this on my door, but I would probably put this next to my door outside. I think that is so pretty. And you would definitely be able to see that from the street. Nice new item. Now, Dollar Tree had an end cap that was just filled with all kinds of new ornaments, new tree toppers and things for the mini trees. So I picked this up. I really like that to top off my tree and it did come in red or pink. I chose to go with the red and I really like the cutouts. It has cutouts of roses on there if you can tell. But very pretty. They also came out with several new metal ornaments and you do get two pieces per package. I really like this one. It says hugs and kisses. It's done like a little tag there. Comes with this cute little white bead and some red and white string to hang it. They also have this one from Cupid Mail Delivery. Together forever. My heart is for you. My heart is for you. Together forever. I like that. Very nicely done. And this is the last one that I found. I love it. It looks like a little envelope that says, I love you. I like all of those. I think they're very pretty. Not only are they good to craft with, but of course they're adorable if you're gonna put up a Valentine's Day tree. 
Dollar Tree also got in several of the kind of clay ornaments. I really like these. You can easily personalize them by putting the name here on the banners. They had a couple different ones to choose from. I liked these, the cupcakes, perfect for sweet treats. They also had these really cute little gnomes. And they also had these adorable little ice cream. But I thought these would look really good on a sweet treats wreath. I did pick up a couple packages of their wooden ornaments. And this one you get 15 pieces. And it does say love. And you get three different color tones. They have red, pink, and natural. So I grabbed a package of those. And then in this one you get the lips and you get 18 pieces and again you get pink, red, and natural. These are a little different than the ones that they have had in the past. And then I believe this is brand new this year. I don't remember seeing these in the past. They are color your own ornaments. I really like to work with these. You get eight pieces in a pack and it's two hearts together. So I picked up a package of each of those for crafting. I also found this which I thought was adorable. This is party favors and you get 10. And this is a little weighted heart with a parachute. Do you remember those when you were little? The little army men they used to throw up in the air and that parachute would open? That's what these are. But I purchased it because I love that little heart. Now it does have a smiley face on one side but the other side is blank. I thought, you know, those might look absolutely adorable on a wreath, whether you put the smiley face forward or you just do the backwards, a plain red heart. But I thought those were really cute, and these are in the party favor section of Valentine's Day. Now that was everything that I picked up on this trip from Valentine's. Now we're going to go into Easter, and I'm going to start with the plus items that I found in my store. Now I was able to find three different metal leaners and I absolutely adore these. I saw several people haul uh, the plus ones for Christmas and I was so jealous I wanted them really badly. But now my stores carry some plus items so now I have access. And these do come with a stand here so that you are able to stand them up. I am planning on using these outside, so when I do that, I will stake these down so that they don't move because we do get some good wind out in the front of the house. These are $5 each. They are 17 inches by 23.75 inches. But these are definitely worth $5 and can be used outside year to year love them. They also had this one, an adorable bunny holding a basket of tulips. So I would say this is the little girl. And I love the style that they did the Easter ones in. Very much the Peter Rabbit style and you'll see what I mean with the next one. And I think this guy looks just like Peter Rabbit holding a basket of eggs. I really love the detail on these. Very beautifully done. I also picked up this beautiful leaner, Every Bunny Welcome. And these are quite large. They had several to choose from. And this is a 48 inch leaner, which I think is by far well worth $5. And I really like this one. It has all those soft pastel -y colors. Perfect for Easter. I also came across a couple packages of string lights. Uh, they are $5. You get 12 count. And I really liked the pastel eggs. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I think these would look beautiful on an Easter wreath with the light up eggs. Beautiful. 
I also came across this strand and I like it. It's very unique. It has the bunnies and the carrots on there. And again, you get 12 count. It says for indoor use only and does require two AA batteries. This is the same, indoor use only. And the length is 4.69 feet for both of them. But I thought that was really interesting and something fun to play with for Easter. Now they have a ton of decorations done with peeps and I've already picked up several and I'm, you know, I, I didn't think I was a huge fan of the peeps, but I really like how they did them this year. And this is a light up peep, which I thought was adorable. Uh, let's see, 10 inch LED candle is inside. Now, if you look down in the little hole, you can see it standing there. You do put the batteries in at the bottom and it does have an on and off switch. I'll see if I can rustle up some batteries and get this lit up so you can see what it looks like. But I thought he was so cute and would look great up on my mantle with some of the other elements and I love that he lights up. So of course I had to pick him up in my signature pink color. Now I thought this was really pretty. This is a potted plant. 20 inch topiary is what they're calling it. 20 inches by eight by eight inches. And I really liked that. I thought that was very pretty. Again, I did purchase it to decorate my mantle for Easter. I like to have things of different heights and this is nice and tall. So this would look really great. And I thought the little pink bunny along with this and some of the other items would decorate my mantle nicely. They had two different ones to choose from, but I really liked this one that had all the eggs on it. Very nice. Nice little galvanized bucket. I did pick up this adorable wooden sign for $3. It's carrot hanging decor. Now they had three different ones to choose from. They had two that were done in the orange. The other orange one just says welcome down the front here. And then they also have one that's done in black and white if you're more into the farmhouse style. But I really love this. I thought it was very pretty. It is nice and thick. And I like the way they did the hanger. They added some beads there to dress it up. Really nice new sign. I did find some Easter garlands and they had three to choose from, but this one I liked. It says, Happy Easter. Let me open this up. Now the reason why I liked it so much is these pieces are wood. So I really like that. I like the pastel colors, but this would be a really nice one to redo. So it does say Happy Easter. And we have this cute little bunny head for the center. Now you could always dress that up a little bit nicer, put some pink inside the ears, maybe put a little face on there if you wanted to keep it saying Happy Easter. But I really thought this would be a nice one to redo for any other type of banner because those are wood. You could easily take these off, repaint them, or just flip them over and do it that way. But that's the first time I've seen a garland at Dollar Tree that is made of wood. They also had one that had uh, different colored tassels on it and I think little bunnies. And I'm not sure there was a third one and they were all on the same strip. But this is the one I liked, so this is the one I grabbed. And then I also picked this one up. Now this one I'm actually going to use as garland and I want to put this where my fireplace is. You get six feet and it was three dollars and the reason why I chose this one is because these eggs are flocked just like the bunnies were flocked and I like that. I think that will match the texture because I want to do the faux turf grass and then the flocked bunnies, some of the other elements and these to decorate my mantle for Easter. But I think that's really pretty. 
I love it. I love the colors. I love that softness. Perfect. I can't wait to put these up. So that was all of the plus items in Easter that I picked up on this trip. The rest of the items that I'm going to show you are all $1.25. And they got in large flocked eggs. I really like these. Now, of course, they do come as an ornament that you can hang them. But again, I love that texture. You've got yellow, pink, kind of a lime green, and that really pretty soft baby blue. Oh, I love them. I'm also going to be working these in with my flocked bunnies on my mantle. I also picked up a package of these decorative clips and they are little bunnies and they are covered with glitter and you get uh, looks like six pieces and they're each a different color they do come with a little clip there on the bottom but I thought these would be really cute if you wanted to do an Easter tree these would look really nice on them they also go really cute on a Easter wreath so I did pick up one package there with the bunnies and then they also have them here with the little chicks again you get six pieces one of each color and they do come with the little clip already attached on the bottom I thought they were pretty I even like that they're sparkly now I was kind of surprised when I went in I did find some winter scarves and I really like their fleece scarves. They're so fun to craft with. And I love this color. I love the blue and white. Oh, I think that's so pretty. And then of course, you gotta go with your more traditional kind of red and black. And let's see, these are 59 inches by 9.5 inches. So I did pick up one of each of those. And then I also found these this year and they are faux fur mufflers, 30 inches by six inches. And they came in a couple different colors. So I picked up one here in the black, one in the gray. And they also had mauve, kind of a purpley pink color. And I thought, you know, these might be good if you wanted to do maybe a beard or something like that for a gnome or some other project. They're also really soft. So this is the first time I found these in my store. I also came across these. They are men's fleece gloves by Juncture. And it's pretty much one size fits all. I did pick these up for my dad. His hands always get really cold and these look nice and large. They definitely fit me so I'm hoping that they will also fit him. But that was a nice find. I've never seen men's gloves at Dollar Tree before. Let me say, I totally scored over in the sock department again. They had so many new socks in. I thought this was absolutely adorable. This is Star Wars Mandalorian. Baby Yoda. I forgot what is his name on that show. I don't remember, but he's so cute. Then you have this pair, so you get two pairs. Shoe size six and a half to 12. And then I found these Space Jam, a new legacy. And you get three pairs of socks in this one. So we have Bugs Bunny. We have this guy, which I don't remember his name. And then of course the Tasmanian Devil. But I thought that was fantastic for $1.25. And then I also found these by Disney. It's called their Pride Collection. Knee highs, one pair. Look at that. Isn't that adorable with Mickey Mouse there? And then around the toes. I thought those were so cute with Mickey, so I did pick up two of those. Then I also found these by Space Jam. And you get two pairs in this one. So this first pair is more thin. And then you get your really thick and fluffy. But I thought those were so cute. And I'm not done yet. I even found these by Space Jam. These are really heavy duty and you get two pair. 
So if you have anybody in your family who likes Space Jam, Mandalorian, or Disney, you might want to be checking the sock section. <laughs> These are all very nice socks. They're much better than the socks they normally carry at Dollar Tree. Really nice find. And then I found this little tiny pair of black mittens. Very small by Snugadoo for kids but that is really small. And I bought these for the snowman wreath forms from Dollar Tree to cover the little hands. I bought the small mittens and they were just way too big and these are smaller so I'm hoping that these will fit and they are the perfect little mittens. Nice find. Now I was able to find one of these framed black chalkboard they have two different ones. They have a square one and this one. I was only able to find this one and I have been looking for these. I thought, you know, this would be a fun project to redo, uh, especially for like a Halloween. You put a nice uh, Halloween decor item there in the center and then de-stress that frame. I think that's perfect. Doesn't that look like the vintage Halloween? To me it does. So I was really happy I found that. And I'll be looking for the other one too that's a square. Have you been able to find these in your store? This was also a really nice find. It is the adult party game of solving picture puzzles, Puzzle Vision. I thought that was cool. Let's see, you get 350 cards, one timer, and instructions. It is for ages 17 and up, and you can have two to 20 players. And it usually takes anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes to play a game. It says each card in the game has an image on it. The image is actually a puzzle that uses a combination of letters and illustrations to create words or phrases. Well, that sounds like fun. Something that anyone could do. Let me look this up and see if I can find out how much this regularly sells for. Okay, so you can pick this up at Walmart for $14.99 and it has a 4.1 rating out of 5. So that's pretty good for $1.25, something that regular retails for $15. Now this was a little something that I picked up for uh, myself and my dad. This is to help us when we go out to restaurants to be able to read the menus. Sometimes we go into a restaurant and the ambiance is so dark we have a hard time reading. So I thought this would help. It has a magnifying glass and it also lights up. So I thought that was really cool. So one for him and one for me. And there you go, everything that I picked up this week at Dollar Tree. So many wonderful finds. You know I love it when they get in new items. I can't wait to see what next week brings. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy craft tutorials and hauls, you're going to want to check out these other videos. You have a great day. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.